Thank you. That's for the select band who actually watched my last video. Thank you very much for the feedback. Um, I look forward to getting further feedback from people. Twitter's probably the best way. I'm at Jim underscore Clayton. What did I learn from doing the first one? One, not comfortable on camera. That is really, really clear. I'll work on that, see if I can get more relaxed. Tried to be rela too relaxed last time possibly and came off a little bit dull. Two, the number of ums, the hesitations in between. You don't know that you're doing it until you actually see yourself on camera and it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a surprise. But uh, now that I'm aware of it, see that, uh, yeah, do something about it. Uh, three, make it shorter, snappier, slicker, shorter. Four, sound. There are some issues with that, which I'm looking into. I'll see if I can make that better. I'm here at the Colchester Rovers round of the Eastern Cyclocross League at Furs Hill Mistley, um, doing a bit of multi-skilling at the moment. So doing a few linky bits for, uh, for this week's effort and also doing some footage for next week's. Keeping my eyes peeled because I'm actually standing on the course and the race is going to be coming through in about five minutes. Um, so yeah, looking forward to some good racing here today. It's been a busy week this week. Uh, started off with the hill climb down at Sudbury last week. Hi, Jim. Hello, Hi. Matt. You're on film, mate. Oh, Matt Carter, absolute animal. Um, yeah, started off with a Sudbury hill climb last week. An excellent event as usual. Normal, uh, n normal enthusiastic crowd. It was a bit wet to begin with, uh, but it dried out nicely. The times weren't too slow considering the conditions. Um, the only result I can remember off the top of my head was that Manningtree Wheelers got the team award. Um, I will read out the actual results a bit later on when I introduce that bit. Um, but it's no surprise that Manningtree Wheelers got the team award, seeing as I think they had the highest percentage of any team entered into that particular race. They must have had 100% of their members either riding or spectating at that event. Great turnout by them and they thoroughly deserve the team award.
Sudbury Hill Climb result, the winner, the male winner, overall winner, was Chris Crabtree of Ipswich Fellow. Uh, moving over to the women's result is Sandra McKay of uh, Velo Shields Interbike Racing Team. Uh, and then the male junior result was Oliver Jones of Ipswich Bicycle Club. Flicking over to the next screen. The male juvenile result was Freddie Glover of Stowmarket and District CC. Uh, and the female juveniles result was Molly Cutmore of local club Hadley Cycling Club for that area. And as I say, Mandatory Wheelers team prize. So only one day in the office this week, although that was a good one. Tuesday, Tuesday night after work, we had uh, the, the Soho Photography Exhibition at Getty Images, um, which was really well attended. And it was a yeah, great evening. Uh, early start the next morning to get the cab to get to the airport. Um, yeah, so it's been a packed week. <laughs> So last time I started talking about the state of the shed and it really is a state. I just wanted to show you what I'm up against here. So starting right from the back, here we go. So this is it. It is full of some stuff that I use, some stuff that I don't, some stuff, bean bag. How did that get in there? I have no idea. This is the issue. Look at this. This is what needs sorting out. I mean, look, down here, what have we got here? Look at that thing. Where did that come from and what is it doing in here? Uh, right, this is going to be a project over the next couple of weeks. Um, I do have some time off next week, so hopefully a couple of days spent in here getting this sorted out. Thanks to Ned James, that bloke off of Twitter, known as Nedley James, or at Nedley James, uh, for some particular encouragement. He was very kind with his comments after the last episode, um, and basically said, give it the beans, Jim. I did tell him that I'm not sure whether I've got any beans, and he suggested there might be some in my shed behind the creosote. Uh, the trouble is, I can't find the creosote. The shed's in such a state. But uh, anyway, I will go looking for those beans, and hopefully there's a few more included in this episode. Thanks, Ned. So, after the hill climb, um, I'd say it was a busy week. Had a lot of travel. A uh, little trip away to Budapest for work. Uh, that was... Wednesday, Thursday. Must think I'm an idiot.
if you have any comments, any questions, any suggestions, then do contact me on Twitter. <laughs> Thank you.